left his side with bugs? Dude, they always say this kind of shit when you watch Starship Troopers. I just rewatched Starship Troopers with the boys. So this is fresh in my mind. Lauren Chen is a dummy. Haven't done a Lauren Chen video in a long time. But this one, I'm all about it. Starship Troopers critique. If you've never seen Starship Troopers, this is a fascist. We must meet the threat. Oh, okay, it's starting over. Our blood, indeed, Sequels suck, lives. dude. I'll, I'm in, though. To ensure that human civilization, not insect, dominates this galaxy now and always. Guys, I have been waiting for far too long to say this, but let's talk about one of my favorite movies, Starship Troopers. <laughs> So Starship Troopers is a science fiction film that was released in 1997, and it is based off the novel of the same name. Mm -hmm. Now, from what I understand, I haven't read it, but I hear that the book and the movie are actually pretty different from each other. So in this video, we will be talking about the film specifically. And by the way, if you haven't seen Starship <laughs> Troopers yet... You think it's her favorite? Am I the only one who thinks they missed the obvious marketing by not using the Samworm lid for blue eyes? -y? Wow, that's true. The movie I was a parody of the book. I highly recommend that you do. We're going to be talking about the politics of it all, but... Not sure if it was Verhoeven or someone else, but the movie is meant to be the kind of propaganda movie the Nazis would make. Yeah, they've talked about it. Uh, the Helldivers people have talked about how they want to push the parody to the point of dissonance for right-wing players. So I'm very excited. That aside, it is, it's just a great action movie. And I feel like even though it's almost 30 years old at this point, it really has held up well. I yeah, agree. it's a little campy. Yeah, it's a little cheesy. But if you ask me, that just adds to its appeal. And the That's the point of the movie. The film's premise, by the way, if you're not aware, is that in the future, humanity has come together to form this worldwide federation. And they end up going to war against this bug species after the bugs bomb Buenos Aires. No. She said it's her favorite movie, and no. Uh, the Federation had already been colonizing those planets. The Mormons also colonized those planets. The bugs did not bomb the other side of the galaxy with their bug asteroids, okay? That is not possible. It never happened. It's a false flag, dude. It's always been a false flag. The Federation blew up Buenos Aires to drive people into fighting for colonization. That's the movie. There are Mormons in Starship Troopers? Yeah, there's Mormons. Uh, the base the base that they go to is a Mormon base. They talk about it in the movie. And what's interesting about Starship Troopers is that aside from just being a genuinely good movie, it has become somewhat of a cult classic because of the political commentary that the film features. Uh -huh. Specifically, you may be familiar with the meme service guarantees citizenship. It's something that I brought up in multiple streams. And yep. it's the idea that instead of being born with citizenship, you should actually have to earn it. You should have... <laughs> Yeah, that's fascist. Have an investment in society, like through military service, if uh -huh. you want to be able to have a say in how politics works. That's actually sure. part of the movie. And what I love about Starship Troopers is that there are all these little nods and hints about how the Greater Federation works. But ultimately, the political system, even the military system, it's not really what the film is about. Those things kind of happen just on on the perf. Like this appeals to you? Have you been in military service? Should you ought you go fight the bugs? I that would be amazing. I think she sh should fight the bugs too. Show them handing guns to kids. Find me the clip and I will. Rules of the film. <laughs> the film really is about killing bugs, which I love. But anyway, the reason why Yeah, I Oh my my god, dude. So, I'm a leftist. Uh sorry to come out like this chat. I'm a leftist. Uh cats out of the bag. Um <laughs> I enjoy watching Starship Troopers, and I like it when they kill the bugs. So you root for Johnny Rico and Rico's Roughnecks because you know the characters, and those people do not understand the system they are in. They are victims of the system. You want them to live, right? For the most part. They are, they are grunts. They're literally told they're grunts. They're told multiple times throughout the, the movie that their lives don't matter and that they are only here to kill bugs and seed, you know, uh, to, to gain territory for the Federation. This is super on the nose. It's not hidden at all whatsoever. They play ads in between 
scenes that play propaganda. See, Sarah's saying the same shit. We just watched it. It's propaganda in between. It's so on the nose. It would, it would be so dissonant to not understand what they're talking about. Why all of this is relevant is that there is a new game on the market, a game called Helldivers 2, if I'm not mistaken. I play. That basically is very reminiscent of Starship Troopers. And so the release of that game has kicked off this whole debate on Twitter about whether the bugs of Starship Troopers were actually the good guys. And I... The bugs aren't good or bad. They are victims. They're not... The ethics of the bugs don't matter. <laughs> like, it's just that they're bugs and we are trying to take their planet from them. We're colonizing. There's no... There's no, like, good guys in the movie except for, like, Rico and the boys. And even then, they're doing the colonization. They're just victims of a system. Element 710... I've loved this movie for a long time. Chance Catalyst, thanks for I probably was too young to have watched it the first time I saw it, and I've loved it since then. But in all my years, I had no idea that apparently there are people who watch this film and who come away with the idea that the humans were the bad guys. That's Go. the point of the fucking movie. I, she's so stupid. No! Lauren, no! But my third grade media literacy only allows me to parse good guys and bad guys. The six minutes? We're gonna watch just the front, the beginning of this. Young people from all over the globe are joining up to fight for the future. I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part, too. See? This is the first minutes of the- 16 seconds of the movie. Hello? They get reinforcements later in the movie and they hand them to a bunch of kids. Like, look at this. Citizen rule. People. Making a better tomorrow. Fighting over the gun. <laughs> yeah, this is clearly a parody. You're so fucking stupid, dude. But I guess it goes to show. This has got to be a grift, right? Is she is she actually this dumb? So that commies, some leftists out there, really are so anti-human, so anti-beauty and competency. Beauty and competency? What the fuck? <laughs> I cannot believe that you. They would rather side with killer bugs than admit humans are maybe not so bad. What? Are we doing an ad? We have a lot more to talk about. Oh my fucking god, dude. What a grifting piece of shit. What an actual fucking, like, dog brain. Company for sponsoring this video. Now, let's take a look at some of these lefty tweets that seem to go out of their way to try and justify why the killer bugs are actually good guys. Now, one of the big questions of the movie that people seem to be debating a lot mm -hmm. is whether humanity or the bugs were the one that started the war. Oh my god, humanity. It's always been humanity. Verhoeven literally cast a bunch of pretty actors because the point is that people care more about aesthetics than morals. Now, if you've seen the movie, the movie makes it pretty clear that the conflict kind of started when some Mormon settlers who were not representative of the Federation settled on the bug planet. No. No, 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 no. It wasn't just the Mormons. With the Federation's help, there was settling, okay? What the Mormons did is they tried to claim a different bug planet for themselves. There's many bug planets in that system. They tried to claim one of them, Klondathu, I think. Uh, I don't know. They were part of it, bro. The book aliens are more humanoid with human-like society and actual evil empire. Wow. And the bugs yeah. eventually ended this up the killing those this people. Now, that obviously was a conflict or skirmish between the species, but that is not when the war started. The war actually only starts after the bugs launch, like, intergalactic bug poop bombs. No. No, that is an escalation in an already ongoing conflict based due to human expansionism and colonization. <laughs> There's a meteor that hit, and that is... Like, they already have the Federation, and they're already killing bugs prior to Buenos Aires being blown up in the movie. It shows you, in the movie, they're already doing this. The bug fights? Dude. What do you think these guys are here for? Look at this. However, Mormon extremists disregarded federal warnings... In Mormon extremists, dude. Disregarded federal warnings. Now, what's interesting about these Mormon Go extremists disregarding federal warnings is that when you get here in the movie uh you know they have turrets up there it's all militarized out and shit it's crazy 
The bugs didn't even do the attack. It was the Federation. Exactly. Media literacy is dead. No child left behind killed it. Jesus. Uh, at Buenos Aires. It is only then that humanity goes and launches a full-scale war against the bugs. Yeah, you just don't understand the movie. Now, my opinion, that scenario makes it pretty clear that no humanity did not start this war. I mean, if you're a civilization with the capability of striking an enemy intergalactically, like across the universe, you should be able to... It wasn't intergalactic. It was in the same galaxy. <laughs> intergalactic. Understand that, hey. She's so susceptible to propaganda. Oh, my God. Yeah. This is, you know, she said a lot of dumb stuff, but this is like basic just watch the movie. One group of your species doing this thing, settling on your home planet, does not mean that the entire species is at war with you. So, yeah, maybe defend yourself against the people who are actually attacking you, but that doesn't justify you bombing their home planet where the people had nothing to do with that settlement. That's clear to me, not clear to lefties, though. As this one person says, if you actually watch the movie, it shows clear as day that humans settled on Klandathu, the bug homeworld, without even bothering to check if it was inhabited. Yes. The bugs retaliated to defend their territory. Like correct. That's absolutely correct. But she has no problem with colonization, so... Bro, just Does she support bombing Hiroshima? A hundred percent. Oh, yeah. And I bet you also believe Pearl Harbor and 9-11 was unprovoked, too. Yep. Say you hate humans and go. And it's interesting because the pro-bug people seem to want to have their cake and eat it, too. Like, at the same time. She does not support Palestine. Time. Oh, bugs. No they're not that smart. They're just trying to defend themselves over what they think is an attack from mm -hmm. humanity. But also, mm -hmm. they will claim that bugs are super smart, intelligent life forms, and humans are evil for trying to kill them. As literally the same person said. My favorite part of Starship Troopers' discourse is they'll watch the scene of the military scientists torturing and killing an intelligent life form whose territory we invaded and is clearly screaming in yeah. agony and still not not get the starship troopers is a satire of fascism yeah this is an ad to follow adamantium man every day federal scientists are looking for new ways to kill bugs your basic arachnid warrior isn't too smart but you can blow off a limb yeah man i was just about to play that part and it's still 86 percent combat effective here's a tip aim for the nerve stem and put it down for good yes it's it's in a prison and they're doing science experiments and shooting guns at it. Yeah, man. Would you like to know more? How do you not? He's literally wearing an SS uniform. Yeah, they're they're quite literally in in Nazi uniforms all the time. Would you like to know more? Dude, he wears a little hat and everything. Now, if you've seen the movie, you'll know that there are, like, intelligent brain bugs who are capable of, like, strategizing and stuff like that. Uh -huh. uh, they're the bugs who look like this. Pro, it's secrets. And now it screams in pain. Once we understand the bug, we will defeat it. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha. So you agree that that's an intelligent creature capable of understanding that it's being tortured. And you're like, that's fine. Yeah, Neil Patrick Harris is in this. You haven't seen Starship Troopers? But the bug in that video that Doogie Hauser is torturing or shooting at, that's kind of like a worker drone bug. They're the ones that are sent like in wave after wave to attack the humans. They're basically like human fodder. And you can kind of even tell from that video that this is not a life form on human level. So the fact that there are people who are actually watching this and trying to anthropomorphize them and be sympathetic to them, it's like, what? This film literally has created the least sympathetic villain you could possibly imagine. Killer bugs. <laughs> That's the point, right? You're like, wow, it's pretty fucked up that even though these are bugs, they're still doing the bad thing. <laughs> like, look at this little Nazi. The whole thing is about being Nazis. Look at this. They just don't see Kyle. Look at the fucking... Would you like to know more? Every day, federal science. Look at them. He has jack boots. For new ways to kill bugs. What are they? It's just because it's multicultural that they don't. Because it's not an ethno state, they don't see it. This is propaganda for all the people. Do you want to live forever? Oh, here we go. Here's a great one. What is wrong with salami? Crime and punishment. You ready? Great ad. Uh, if humanizing is too hard for you, let me ask you. Replace the bugs with puppies and try to respond the same way, right? Like dogs? Dog planet? A murderer was captured this morning and tried today. Guilty. Sentence, death. Execution tonight at 6. All net, all channels. <laughs> Would you like to know more? <laughs> Public execution internet. On every channel. 
who are like they're not cute in any way. They're clearly meant for killing, and it's like you're still they're meant them for killing. And if oh my god, they're not meant for killing. They're bugs and <laughs> meant for killing. Oh fucking shit, dude. Sending hordes of humans with guns and nukes isn't uh, violence, though, or something. If you're not familiar with Starship Troopers discourse, you might wonder why exactly would leftists, like, choose these bugs over the humans? And aside from just being blatantly anti-humanity, it's because there are a lot of people out there who think that the Federation are evil because they represent fascism. Case in point, in response to this post that I think is hilarious, it shows a, a picture of some of the main characters smiling, good-looking, clearly winning, having a great time killing the bugs. The communists are identifying with literal insects again. There is this reply. On the other hand, the fascists are identifying as people who follow orders printed on BPA-laden receipt paper. The Verhoeven movie, like all his others, is tremendous fun, but no matter how hard right sells cope, it is a movie about a fascist society that is losing a war. It is. It's definitely that. Jake, are you making assertions that there are bugs that think? I find that offensive. Good reference. Good reference. I think that's actually in my clips. I'd like to know more. It's in my clips. Federal scientists struggle to explain the intelligent military actions of the arachnids. This is in this is in the movie. When a colony reaches a certain size, 300 generations or something, it gets smarter. Insects with intelligence? Have you ever met one? I can't believe I am hearing this nonsense. You just this wait is the most ridiculous moment. conversation May I have ever had. There is some kind of bug that we haven't seen yet. A leadership cast, a, a hive brain. Brain bugs? Frankly, I find the idea of a bug that thinks offensive. <laughs> Great movie, dude. Offensive! And she was right. She's also a fascist in the movie, though, right? Now, this is kind of going into the lore of the Starship Troopers film a little bit, but Verhoeven is the film's director, someone who is like a literal communist who has also admitted that he didn't really read the book. Now, according to him, he intended the film as a satire of fascism, and he says that it's meant to make the Federation look bad. For instance, he's gone on record saying that the Federation... So Lauren says in this her... This is her favorite movie, yet she is advocating entirely against everything said in the commentary. You could put on in the special features of the DVD and Blu-ray release of the film. Oh my god, forcing her to review this this Starship Troopers with the commentary on? That would be amazing. The director literally said it's satire. Right. It's so obvious. Military outfits in the film are actually based. Is Verhoeven off a communist? Amazing. Off of the SS uniform because he's trying to draw parallels between you know the Nazis and the Federation. As this one lefty tweet explains, don't want to be Nazi viewers seeing the top. Literally, look at this. Top war officials show up in literal SS uniforms in the movie. Wow, I really like these guys. I think their war is defensive and their society is just. And now this kind of brings us into a debate Come on. over authorial intent versus death of the author. Oh my fucking god. Why don't you read? Why don't you read the words of the director of this movie? They're Nazis. Yes. And this may be getting a little into the weeds and kind of nerdy, but hey, we're already like knee deep. This is nerdy? In a what? Starship Troopers political video, so let's just add in some cool. English Insecure, literature, dude. media literacy on top of it. When it comes to interpreting works of fiction, uh, there are two schools of thought, death of the author uh -huh. and authorial intent. Death okay. of the author posits that works should be able to be interpreted without the input of the author, i.e. as a creator, once you put out your book or your movie, to the ether, it is now kind of its own being, and just because you made the thing, that doesn't mean that your interpretation of it is necessarily right. The media should be able to speak for itself. Okay, yeah, uh, the 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 actual intent of your movie is is what the movie is, right? Unless you fail, and Paul Verhoeven did not fail at making a satire with Starship Troopers. You are so stupid. Can't wait for Helldivers to make the right start yelling about wokeness when the devs start making it really uncomfortable for them to play in future updates. Oh, man. It's going to continue to ramp up, too. Can't find anything about Verhoeven being a communist? Yeah, I don't know. That's death of the author. Authorial intent, however, as its name suggests, posits that the creator's intention should actually affect how we view a certain work. And uh -huh. this is all relevant in the case of Starship Troopers because with these lefties saying, ha ha, see, <laughs> these lefties. Said he was making fun of fascists and he dressed you guys up as fascists. Yes. Therefore, you're fascists and you're siding with the bad guys. If yes. you like the humans, they are relying on authorial intent. However, Not if you like the humans. It, like, okay, 
the the point of the movie is that you can identify with the people that are taking place in the war, right? You can under you can understand being a soldier in a war, and you're like, okay, these are our heroes, but they're misled into sending their flesh bodies tragically into a fucking bug meat grinder for not not enriching their own lives for the benefit of the federation this is the movie and it's making a satirical take on it's so easy or if we go by death of the author and we look at the film just as it is without knowing anything about Verhoeven or you don't have to know anything about Verhoeven to see that this is not pro fascism what he says we should be interpreting from the film mm -hmm. it's pretty hard and i would say almost impossible to interpret the federation as a fascist society She's brain dead. She's brain dead. Starship. Whoa. Decline. Starship Troopers, 20 years on, director Paul Verhoeven reveals how his movie predicted Donald Trump. Here's a sample of the brutal reviews, cheerfully lobotomized. Starship Troopers undergone greater reprisal. We're all screwed. Paul, Paul Verhoeven himself, now a youthful 78 and still fiercely candid and intelligent, certainly isn't shy about drawing parallels to today's increasingly right wing political landscape, not least the USA under Donald Trump. For sure, no doubt, he practically shouts, I know that Ed Newmeyer, the screenwriter, and I were aware of elements of American society that seemed to have po the possibility of certain fascism, but I did not believe myself the United States would be willing to go in that direction. The liberal Verhoeven, unsurprisingly, wasn't interested in a movie adaptation that took Heinlein's politics at face value, which is the writer of the book. Hardline, gung-ho foreign policy in the story about human soldiers fighting an interstellar war with Arachnids was often accused of glorifying war. What he and his RoboCop screenwriter Neumeyer aimed for instead was to inflate Heinlein's overblown ideals to the max, flaunt their pompacity, and then explode them like confetti. Ed and I disagreed with Robert Heinlein, and we felt that we needed to counter with our own narrative. Basically, the political undercurrent of the film is that these heroes and heroines are living in a fascist utopia, but they are not even aware of it. They think this is normal, and somehow you are seduced to follow them at the same time made aware that they might be fascists. Right. This is, it's in his own words, Lauren. I mean, points for the Federation being fascist. We have their outfits and also, I guess, fascist imagery just you know in, in general and the movie just starship troopers as a whole does have all these propaganda inserts into it which i mean some people might say is fascist but let's be real propaganda is not inherently or uniquely fascist in any sense no but fascist propaganda is hello <laughs> they're doing their part are you join the mobile infantry and save the world service guarantees citizenship service guarantees citizenship they also go to school there's there's shots in their school where they're literally being indoctrinated into being nationalists <laughs> but when you actually look there's buggy in the high school i went to it was mandatory for everyone to take a media literacy class and every day i wish more that every school was like that holy shit look at how the human civilization how the federation operates it's pretty clear that there's a lot of liberalism there and frankly it's really interesting how when it comes to starship troopers and verhoeven all these people are super into authorial intent and we need to the opening scene is literally a teacher saying that violence makes right he is yeah he does a great job are you doing is it another yes time is check. dude the audio on this Best is bad summer, this year we explored the failure of democracy well, the social scientists brought our world. The failure of democracy. Listen to it. He's telling the history of this world. This year we explored the failure of democracy. Well, the social scientists brought our world to the brink of chaos. We talked about the veterans, how they took control and imposed the stability that has lasted for generations since. Impose stability? <laughs> like what, bro? You're so fucking stupid, Lauren. I, I wish it was different abide by what the creator says about their works but these are also usually the same people who will look at i don't know tolkien and say oh yeah sam and frodo were definitely gay here's all the queer symbolism and it's like you guys those are jokes <laughs> no i think i think it would be nice if they were platonic i like that they're platonic uh sam frodo being gay is funny though uh it's like haha what if what if this really straight laced English guy wrote a gay romance story? But it's you know I like, I like Fuck the platonic friendship love of of Lord of the Rings is is delightful. Uh, stupid or dishonest? I know the answer is both, but on this take, which is it? 
Uh, so she's either she's either a dum dum or nefarious, and I'm going with dum dum on this one. She's also nefarious, I agree, like in general, but she's super dumb. Can't have it both ways. Either media speaks for itself or it doesn't. You can't pick and choose whichever gives you the most leftist outcome. The, being gay isn't a leftist outcome? What's that mean? As this one ex-post explains, another one of my favorite parts of Starship Troopers discourse is how left-wingers believe the movie is fascist, yet don't reconcile that belief with a movie that depicts a multiracial society with members who don't see humanity as supreme and engage in robust debate. The debate is about whether or not, so they're human supremacists, they don't have racism. I'm glad they don't have racism, that would be lazy. It's about human supremacy. They don't, they do see human as supreme. With member who don't see humanity as supreme. With member? They actually do? I don't know a single... What what character in Starship Troopers doesn't see themselves as superior to the bugs? I'm trying to think of one. Like, even that lady wasn't... The one lady saying there might be brain bugs is not saying that they're superior or, or equal to human beings. She's saying that it's clear that they have intelligence, so we should bur murder them. The racism kicks back up once the common enemy is gone. Right. Oh, come on, it's just a bug. You better put your goggles just on. Just a bug. <laughs> we humans like to think we are nature's finest achievement. I'm afraid it just isn't true. General scientists. Okay, but she goes on to explain that they're like killing machines in a dehumanizing way, which they're not humans, but she she just, <laughs> that professor has scars and shit from the bugs because they've already been fighting this war for a long time struggle to explain the intelligent military actions of the arachnids mm -hmm. when a colony reaches a certain size, yeah we watched this already. 300 generations or something it gets smarter insects that with intelligence have you ever met one i can't believe i am hearing this nonsense you just this wait is the most ridiculous moment, conversation i have ever had there is some kind of bug that we haven't seen yet yeah so this isn't this isn't pro bug a leadership cast, a hive brain. Brain bugs? Frankly, I find the idea of a bug that thinks offensive. Yeah. And so they've replaced racism with not giving everyone citizenship, but they don't show, like, they don't go into, like, that in the movie. All those points are true. Not only is the society in Starship Troopers, yes, multiracial, but you also have gender equality. There are military leaders who are female, and there is so much gender equality that the men and the women even shower together. Imagine having so little fear of the male gaze that women are actually comfortable showering with their male counterparts. That's pretty progressive. It's so fascinating that you can say that and then deny the reality that the male gaze is a thing. And that it it is uncomfortable to be around men because they can't handle themselves. And then seeing them shower together. But those are only for citizens, man. Like, they have to get licenses to have babies. Meet for the infinite war, yeah. Not only that, but there's also accountability. After a military blunder, the leader in the movie resigns, steps down, and is replaced. Which fascist leaders don't really tend to do. And as those... <laughs> Uh, the Federation is is definitely one of like honor. Like they just they just cycle through. There's lots of turnover in fascist societies, and that's what they're going over. Those two clips clearly show there are members of the human society. She, she thinks fascism is just like a like or lack of fascism is allowing black people to be around or something that don't view humanity as inherently superior, which fascists are kind of all about that superiority. And there's also broadcast debates in the Federation where there are different people who argue whether humanity's role and actions are just. If this was a fascist society, that would not be allowed. I mean, sure, some people have argued that because citizenship isn't universal in, in the Federation, uh -huh. that's fascist. But aside Yes, yes. Forcing military service in order to be a citizen is definitely fascism. Uh-huh. From being able to participate in the franchise, it's not like non-citizens uh, have fewer rights or are oppressed in any way. It's not like they're- It's actually not true. They do have fewer rights. They literally can't have pregnancy. There's lots of stuff they can't do. They do have fewer rights. They can't even vote. Yeah, what? <laughs> 
a lower class. And so that begs the That's question, why then do these leftists insist on portraying this film as fascist when there's not really anything to support it? <laughs> why would you upload this? This is deeply embarrassing. Well, honestly, I think it's because there are people, is this rage bait? people out there who, yeah, tend to be leftist activists who are so bitter, they honestly look at a society that is clean and orderly. That <laughs> What is clean and orderly about the blood massacres? <laughs> she even cool. bother watching the movie before making this video? No. That features good looking fit people in the military. And that in and of itself is enough to convince them. Yep. The first scene is like they drop in drop ships onto the planet and get fucking destroyed by bugs. Fascism. Because to these people, excellence is fascism. Beauty is fascism. Order is fascism. And Bro, I don't know why you're obsessed with beauty, order, stuff like that. What's beautiful about this movie? Because they, because Johnny Rico is a hottie? Is it just about these guys? Look at that. Jake Busey, what a fucking beautiful man. Soldiers like Private Ace Levy. Hell yeah, Jake John Busey. No. And they hold these beliefs to the extreme that they would literally rather sympathize with this bug, this brain-sucking, gross bug, than view humans as the good guys. Can we take a moment to recognize how cool super football was in this movie? Uh, you would be happy to learn that arena football exists. And you can go watch arena football whenever you like, uh, wherever they're at. Arena football's real. I mean, I'm not even kidding. Check this out. As this one user states, commenting on the appearance of the main characters, mm -hmm. the soldiers in the movie shot from the lens of fascist propaganda fitting some Hitlerite definition of handsome is absolutely intentional, LOL. The characters from Argentina all look like this. Yes. Yes. These are all from Buenos Aires, which is fascinating because it implies, like, white colonization of the whole place. And yeah, that's that was intentional. Verhoeven talks about this. Yes. Like this. So literally, these people are arguing that fascism is when attractive and white. No. <laughs> Fucking no. So stupid. I'm attractive and white, chat. And I'm not a fascist. So the it's about the aesthetic of what this person just said, the Hitlerite... <laughs> Hitlerite definition of handsome... I mean, it's about this, yes. It is about, like, what is it, the Ubermensch or something? I don't even know. The, the fucking, the, the Aryan super race. It's, yes. This is the point about having a lot of selected people at the top, uh, even though, you know, Johnny Rico's a grunt. And not everyone in this is, like, a beautiful person. There's lots of beautiful people. Lots of them. These people are arguing that fascism is when attractive and white. Yeah, and so I wish I could find stupid. the specific post that said it, but I can't. So to I thought Jake was fucking hot. Thank you, this one. Is I saw this one person make this really astute observation, which is that for some people who tend to be right wing, they see the good looking fit people and starship troopers and they think, hey, that could be me. Whereas for other people who tend to be leftist, they see the good looking fit people and starship troopers and they think, hey, those people would beat me up. And <laughs> Uh, no, you can identify yourself uh, in the characters there for sure. They are meat for the meat grinder. That's the point. Rico's character arc is literally about the death of the individual to become the ubermensch ideal. Right. And now you could maybe say that that reaction is a commentary on how good looking people tend to, I don't know, be more aggressive and perhaps immoral. But again, there are no... Perhaps immoral? <laughs> I'm sorry for being so immoral, Chad. Immoral actions portrayed by the Federation in the film that would justify this level of criticism from the left. Criticism from the left. It's a celebration of the film to discuss its anti-fascist roots. Not criticism at all. It's it's more like analysis. I don't, it's not definitely not criticism. And I think if nothing else, you all the hot bullies out there. Wait, yeah. Has anyone ever been bullied by someone that was hot? That's actually not a thing that I experienced. I'm sure it happens. I'm sure we've definitely been, there's been an asshole that's been hot, but full bullies definitely happens. But I definitely, I definitely did not experience only hot people being bullies. It's 90s jock tropes. Hey, that's, that was me. And then I stopped. 
guys should watch Starship Troopers if you haven't already, because it apparently is a lesson in how far moral relativism has gotten. How even when presented uh, with a film depicting good versus evil, humanity versus bugs, the beautiful versus the ugly, the intelligent versus the... I mean, like the literal bugs, there are still some people whose sense of justice and ideology are so warped that they would choose the bugs. <laughs> choose the bugs. Uh, no, no, it's about choosing not to colonize the bugs <laughs> and fight the meat war. <laughs> cool, dude. Any case, that's basically all I have to say for now. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. No, thanks. Until next time. Jesus. We must be Fuck, Go. dude. I knew it was going to be painful because all right-wingers watching critiques of their culture is painful because they don't understand anything because they're just so goddamn stupid. But that was pretty fucking bad. That It doesn't get much worse than that. Bitterest Buggy! Really interesting uh, how she thinks being ugly and being evil is the same thing. I think evilness makes you ugly. Isn't that what happens?